everyone! Welcome back to Calamity Hills. I'm Honeywell, and today we're going to be playing the neighborhood for a change. There was interest in seeing more of the other families, so you'll be making the rounds with me. I'm trying out different rotation lengths because playing the tower for a week and then playing the rest of the neighborhood was too much. We're up to 10 households now. We're going to try having the tower set the pace for the rest of the neighborhood and see if that isn't more manageable. So for this round, we're going to play everyone until 7 a.m. Tuesday morning, so the rotation is on the short side. Two days for most, and only one day in the new houses. So let's get to it. First up is Ragnar. And here we are with Ragnar. Ragnar's box was too ugly and I couldn't stand it, so I redid it. We took a little bit of a loss on the paint and whatnot, but it was worth it. I like it a whole lot better now. It's still very basic. Uh, but better. Basic, but better. And before we get started, let's have a little uh, background from college. Ragnar has two bolts for Tara now, and they're engaged. And Tara really seems to like Ragnar, and even has the want to marry him, but he seems a little indifferent to her. He did roll the want to get engaged, though. They both did, so we'll see if they get married. Maybe it's more of a political alliance? I don't know. And Ragnar also wanted to rolled the want to become a big man on campus. Let's take a look at his memories. There we go. Became big man on campus. I can't believe I was able I was able to be that influential. I hope I can keep all of these friends throughout my life. Yeah, I hope so too. He had a pretty uh a pretty interesting time at college, didn't he? Uh lots of fires. He is the one who has the genie lamp, which we put above the fridge. And he did a good job in college, along with becoming the big man on campus, rolling that want, which seemed absolutely fit fitting to me. He rolled wants for logic and charisma, just like a knowledge sim would, one right after the other. So he left college with a ton of aspiration points and all the skills he needs to top the politics career. Even though he had all of the skills needed each semester to get a 4.0, oh, he didn't roll the wants needed for the classwork, so that didn't happen for him. Still, he graduated with a respectable 3.7, which means he can start at level 7 in the politics career when a position becomes available. And it looks like the welcome wagon is here. Um, now, usually, oh, look, look who's here. Here comes Danielle waddling along. I don't know if you guys didn't know, uh, Danielle is pregnant. Now, usually my, I just ignore the welcome wagon because who wants a bunch of strangers popping up at your house? But Ragnar is, wants to become mayor. So I think he would absolutely come here and uh, greet everybody, right? Yeah, so Ragnar is actually going to enjoy his, uh, his guests. He'll give a, you know, kiss the pregnant lady, give the man a tough handshake, and I don't know, maybe a kiss kiss darling for the lady in the evening dress. Get off the computer. You have potential uh, voters out here. Come greet them all. Andrea is a take charge kind of lady. She's like, I'm gonna come over here, knock on that door. Oh, oh, you know what, actually, before they do this, look, he has he has the want to get a job in politics, but that's only worth a thousand aspiration. And I locked it in because that fits, you know, fits amazingly well with what we're doing here. But he also needs um, level 10 body before he becomes an elder because once he's an elder, he can't leave the lot without 10 body. So instead of the politics, we're gonna unlock that, even though we're working towards that, and I'm gonna lock in the reach level body, eight body, because that's worth more points. Now I say that I'm trying to play more want-based, but really I need to play more story-based. I already play want-based, that's the game. <laughs> And he wants to become friends with Danielle now. That's nice. And he wants to get a pet and have a party. Do you know what? He does not have a phone. Let's buy him a phone and 
and we'll let him throw a party and he'll spend his day uh, schmoozing with the neighbors and having a party, right? Yeah, let's do that. I found the newspaper, by the way. It was under the flower pot right here. But he needs a phone, so let's buy him one. If we can find it. And since we're putting it outside, let's just give him one of these old ones. And I am crazy, so we're going to rotate this, so... Yeah, give me just a moment. And we turned on our rotation cheat. Okay, that is better. It's on a nice angle now. And uh, let's get to it. He wants to throw a party. And he wants to become friends with Danielle. Wally, get out of there. Maybe... Oh, he's going to check that out? Oh, I forgot those bushes are intersectable. He doesn't, he didn't seem happy about that with that phone at all. Since we're having a party, let's put out a tray of food. He can uh, call his guests to uh, a meal. He can grab a plate and then Wait, no, we have to start a party, right? Throw a party. And just a regular house party seems like... Throw a wedding party, did you see that? <laughs> Maybe he should invite Tara. Oh, look at... Did you see Andrea has a thought bubble of a baby above her head? Now, who is Ragnar going to invite? Well, he's going to invite his Tara, obviously. And his best friends, Dustin and David. Does, well, his sister, Jane, David, and then he'll want to invite um, David's girl, Heather Huffington, and Dustin's girl, Julie. Let's see if we can find Julie here. I don't remember her last name. Uh, Julie, Julie Montif. Montif. That seems like a good party, right? His sister, his best friends from college, and the girlfriends, plus the three that are already here. That sounds like a nice party. Maybe you should get something to eat, Danielle. You look a little peckish there. Okay, and now go ahead and grab a plate. I don't think Danielle needs... Why would you want some juice? You could have some nice salmon. And potato chips. <laughs> These people, they don't know what's good for them. <laughs> ah, and the gang's all here. Let's see. Well, I'll let, I'll let you eat for a little while. Now he has all of these wants to influence people to do something and that is locked behind the politics career track, so we can't do that, actually. Do you know what we don't have? We don't have a little party meter. Now, I guess he should greet... Tara first. It's a snoozer. Now, this is the first party in Calamity. He didn't do it. I asked him to greet her, and here comes Andros up here. Party crashing? <laughs> That's pretty funny. Maybe a try, a hug? A nice romantic hug. I think Tara wants to dance with Ragnar. There is the happy couple. And look, Julie and Dustin are automatically paired up. Maybe we should put... It's like Andrea's dancing to nothing. Let's give them a... <laughs> and uh, our charming David decides to uh, knock, knock his girlfriend in the face with a pillow. Maybe we should buy them a stereo. Uh, just to liven things up a little bit for the party. One of these little ones. And we'll put it right out here. Yeah, I like that. 
we, we want Calamity Hill's first party to be nice. And Andrea, <laughs> Andrea was robbed, so she's still angry about that. And they're going to put this all the way in this trash can over there. I gave them a trash can in the house to keep that from happening. But let's have him run here, turn on the stereo. And it's a not bad party. They are playing kicky bag, but I know that Tara wants to dance with Ragnar. So let's call her over here. Even though he doesn't seem very interested in her. Um, they do have, no, not that kind of dance together. What does she want to do? Classic dance with him? Dance, classic. Do that. Now we took the chopsticks out of, um, Tara's hair and we put a little bit of makeup on her and she wants to be in that <laughs> ridiculous, um, well, it's not ridiculous. She's wearing that formal dress, and I think that's fine. And now Tara was one of our little dirt babies. She decided to uh, clean up and is no longer interested in uh, being known as a little scruffy little kid. So I like that. That's right, Jane. Come out here and get down. Now, what does he want? He wants to be friends with uh, Danielle, Wally, and Andrea. Where did Andrea go? What are they doing over there? We have to come investigate. Like everybody's over here in the bushes. <laughs> this is pretty funny. Yeah, okay, well you guys carry on. <laughs> oh, you know what, you can stop dancing now. Um, chat with, uh, chat with Ambrose you know your father-in-law see how that goes and we're up to a good time he still wants to be friends with um, Danielle Andrea and Wally maybe who is the youngest <laughs> look at Dustin <laughs> I wish we could influence people to do things, but we can't. So let's have him, I am gonna have him, I don't know. I guess, who does he have the highest relationship with and that's what who will pick. Um, he has 38 and two bolts with Andrea, so he's going to become friends with Andrea. Where is Andrea at? Over here in the bushes? Still playing a, still having a water balloon fight. So come over here and, uh, tell her, bust a move. <laughs> it's been a long time since someone's busted a move around here. And then, and then talk and gossip. Let's see what he has to gossip about, too. Get out of the bushes, Andrea. <laughs> She's like, what are you doing? Yeah, that's great. I love it. Oh, they're already friends. Wow. That bust a move is pretty powerful stuff. Who did they gossip about? I didn't see it. Now, and everyone else is just doing uh, doing their thing. Nobody seems to want to eat. Maybe I should uh, call everybody to meal. Well, no, let's put away leftovers. Who are you? Hey, I found some new places to hang out downtown. Because we lived show business, um, we could actually go downtown. But obviously, we're having a party, so we're not going to do that. And we're having a roof raiser. How amazing is that? That is pretty good. Put away as single plates. Put it all away. Nobody's eating that food. I tried. Uh, but apparently we're having a great time. 
We uh, played in the bushes, had a water balloon fight. These guys are dancing up the storm, and I love that these two are paired up together. <laughs> uh, Wally and Danielle with the with the kiki bag. I'm not sure what's up with that. Maybe you might want to give her a little bit of privacy too. Let's let's have him spend. Let's have him come over here and flirt with uh, Tara. You're engaged. Spend some time with uh, your fiance. Yeah, grab her butt. Her dad doesn't mind. She liked that. Oh, do you see that? That little crazy sign? That means somebody is low on aspiration. Let's see it, what happens with these two if there's any sort of uh, autonomous interactions. But no. Oh, wait. Here we go. Dance together. He wants to dance with her. That's nice. You go ahead with your bad self. And they are just steady eating him out of house and home in there. Congratulations on hosting a terrific party. Your guests had a fantastic time. Final party, party score is a roof raiser. That's right. We're amazing. And that's it. Everyone leaves. See you later. Get out. A good time was had by all. <gasps> she changed into her pajamas. <laughs> what is going on? I think she's, like, on her way to the hospital. <laughs> that is pretty hilarious. Now, even though it doesn't look like it, looking at the look on his face, I think he had a very nice first day in Calamity Hills. <laughs> Why he has to look like that, I do not know. I think now it is time to, um, to say goodbye to Peter because we have some... Oh, but he wants to tell him a dirty joke first. He knows Peter. <laughs> they are friends. Um, what are we going to have him do for the rest of the night? Well, I think we should have him work on some of the wants that he has. He wants uh, friends, and we need him to top out bodies. So for the rest of the night until 12 o'clock, I think we'll have him work on friends, friendships and skilling. And I will bring you back when it's time to check the computer to see if politics comes up in the, comes up on offer. But watching Peter dance is pretty mesmerizing here. <laughs> so I'll let you enjoy this for another minute or two. Well, not a minute. <laughs> okay, enough of that. I will see you in a bit. But actually, this is interesting. Do you see him trying to look out that window? When you look outside a window, it raises comfort, and that's what he's trying to do. I think that was cute. Oh, look. This is why Danielle was in her pajamas. She must have went to sleep in Ragnar's bed. <laughs> Whatever, that's fine. Okay, again, he is going to call up some of these folks that he wants to be friends with, see what goes on with that, and then start working on his body skill. I think our future mayor needs some sensitivity training. He goes around constantly making crazy gestures at people just because they're low on aspiration. Very judgmental. <laughs> see, look at him. <laughs> How about you just tell him goodbye? Yes, say goodbye to Peter. It is 12 o'clock, Peter. You need to go home and uh, and be with your family. Thanks for stopping by, though. And it's 12 o'clock, so let's do it. Let's find a job. Cross your fingers, guys. First up. Now we're looking for the politics career to come up. And gamer. We want to look again. Adventurer, look again. Dance, no, thank you. Look again. Architecture, no, thank you. And last but not least, politics, show business, no. Look again. There are no more jobs available today. Okay, well, that was a good first day for Ragnar anyway. How are his needs? Um, they're not that bad. I think we're going to have him work out a little bit. In fact, come run here and... I don't know, did he ever learn how to Tai Chi? 
He's tired, so if he could Tai Chi, that would be good. But I don't think he did. Uh, no. So go ahead and do some yoga. And we'll let him work on... Oh, he has a long way to go. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to happen. We'll let him work on his body skill for an hour or so, and then we'll send him to bed. But this is going to be all for Ragnar. He had a great first day, I think. <laughs> uh, he had a party like he wanted. He made some friends, uh, made a good impression on the, the rest of the neighborhood. And yeah, what more could you want? Not much. Okay, next up will be David. I'll see you at his house. And here we are at David's much cuter box. In college, David did not uh, roll any wants to skill, so he needs to do a fair bit of work yet to top the slacker career. But he graduated with a 2.7, and that qualifies him to start at level 6. So that's good. But for David's first day, I think we want to send him to the corner store so he can pay his last respects to Dora, who he did have a close relationship with. He was home when she passed. In fact, I, part of the reason why he was over the house was because Dora and the rest of the family had wants to all talk and visit with David. Uh, but he didn't get a chance to mourn her because he wasn't controllable. So we want to give him that opportunity. So I guess... But what about his wants? Um... He wants to be best friends with Julie. Let's have him call Julie up really quick just so we can get that that aspiration and because Julie is engaged to his best friend so I'm sure they all want to become friends they'll be spending a lot of time with each other so it just makes sense that they'll widen their circle we still don't know what he's going to do with who does he I wonder why he's rolling once for Alvin I don't remember him seeing her him uh, here we are, Julie. Just talk. Uh oh. <laughs> that, that wasn't, that didn't start well. Oh, hey, David. Seems like you're a pretty insightful person. I'm developing a new product, and I'd be interested to hear your feedback. It looks like David got picked up a free TV. Um, what are we going to do with that TV? We have an inventory restriction, so. Oh, no, he got a computer. Oh, we already have a computer and we can't sell anything. So yeah, I guess he, I guess it's just going to stay in his inventory for now. That's fine. Okay, and this is what I mean by uh, playing want-based, how that is the goal for everybody to kind of uh, play want-based, but I already play want-based, except for I treat the wants like a game. Let's, and he wants to have a party. I think, I think we are going to send him this to the store so he can pay his last respects for Dora. And then I think he's going to have a house party and invite his family over. That sounds like what he would do. We will just let uh, Joe Carr steal our newspaper. We don't care. So if that is the case... Um, let's have him go swim for a little bit. See if we can't get him to reach level 7 body. And then we'll have him throw a party, go to the store. And that is going to get on my last nerve. We'll have him go to the store, say his last goodbyes to Dora, and then invite, invite his family over. And I think that will be Dora's, uh, not Dora's, David's first day. And he almost has level seven body, so that works out. Uh, but we have the welcome wagon has arrived. Um, Heather, ha or Heather Long now, because she got married, I forgot. You see Decker over there fuming. He was also robbed. They were not happy. The the bear criminal whoever he was he took all of their dining chairs and their paintings so that was bad now where i think where i think ragnar was happy to meet everybody i don't think 
David is necessarily that happy, so I'm going to have him just say hello to everybody. Give the ladies a hug, a kiss kiss for the lady in the dress, and uh, a tough handshake <laughs> for Decker over here, who is furious that someone took his shares. <laughs> And then he's going to send everybody on his way. He is not in the mood for for a bunch of strangers, but he is a popularity sim, so. Decker, you have a very pregnant wife at home. And what does he want to do? Entertain, play, yeah, but he doesn't really want to do that. We already decided what he wanted to do. He wants to go pay his respects to Dora, and then spend the day with his family. Hello there, David. You have a lot in common with my friend Gordon. Jordan. Mind if I give Jordan your number? I think you two would get along as well as you and I do. Uh, yes. I guess we can tank this, right? Sure. Popularity Sim, always looking for friends. Just not today. Let's say goodbye to everybody. Say goodbye to, say goodbye to everyone. You appreciate the hospitality. So, so. But for right now, you need to uh, take care of business. Do some yoga. Get that last little bit of body skill you need. And then, yeah. Hurry up. Do your thing. Faster. You're getting really good at that. <laughs> gotta tell you they'll also do yoga on coffee tables but I almost never have coffee tables so I don't get to see it hurry up there you go and we want to lock this in as well just the same reason as Ragnar it's worth a lot of points you know game and they both need level 10 body so it works out Let's put a bus stop in. Since Calamity Hills is paying so much money to have this bus service, we might as well use it. And I think it'd be okay to put it on this side of the street this time. Let's turn our move objects on. And we'll put it right here. That way he doesn't have to cross the street. Let's turn move objects off. And yeah, catch a bus. The Slacker Express will be here momentarily and I will see you at the corner store. Do you wanna see him catch the bus? I don't think anyone wants to see that, right? You've seen it. Maybe the last time, one more time. We'll see how it works with, um... oh, we didn't get the dialogue. We'll see how it doesn't work speed this up did you not catch the bus oh here we go it just took a while so yeah let's go to the corner store oh and there's the bus already no browsing the web no time for that did Melissa fancy just get on that bus I love that it's all very nice <laughs> and here we are nice and sunny so that was nice it looks like Casey is still playing chess and Decker left his house and uh and headed right over to the store as well oh and there is his friend and this old guy we need more people in this town I see the same well I guess it's a small town I guess that's why we see the same people all the time Let's come mourn. Come mourn, Dora. And he wants to give a back rub to Heather. Yeah, I don't know what we're going to do about that. I know. I know. He loved his grandma. But that was better. Very cathartic. I guess 
but he wants to pick up something to eat. Well, we'll let him do that, and then, and then he needs to get home and invite his family over, but he could stay and have a bite to eat. We don't get to use our corner store nearly enough. I love this lot. I really do. Here we go. What did you order? Some uh, flapjacks? Oh. Do you think you might like Jay and Tellerman? What are his turn-ons and turn-offs again? Blonde hair and fit. Let's see if... Oh, look. Maybe he might like Jan. Because I have to say, I don't know that um, things are going to work out with Heather. Oh, and here's another. Let's have him scope the room and see if he might like any of these blonde-headed ladies in town. I mean, he does have... He wants to give Heather a back rub, though, so I don't know. What do you think? Oh, yeah. Veronica is hot. Who is Veronica? Come talk to, uh... Come give a kiss-kiss, darling, to Veronica. Was she at the house? She showed up. Right on your doorstep. Do you, might you like her? Let's, um, let's have him check her out. Maybe things got a little more interesting. Oh, he should be at... Did he not want to check her out? He wants to slow dance. I don't know if he likes her or not. Um, let's not give her a back rub. We don't know her like that. I can't tell if he likes her or not. We aren't getting any attraction bolts. Maybe he is kind of indifferent to her? Yeah. I'm not sure. <laughs> and now he wants to buy some souvenirs. Well, that is something that we will uh, we'll keep that in mind. Maybe he likes her, maybe not. Casey, you and your gamer outfit has to go. Okay, let is let us catch the bus back to the house, and then we are going to uh, invite his his family over. Very good. That's right. Look at them looking each thinking about each other. And maybe we should give. Let's tell. Let's tell Dustin an inside joke while we're waiting for the bus. Oh, I guess we're not going to have the opportunity. That's right. Remember that? I love that everybody gets on the bus with him. It's very cute. Okay, I'll meet you back at his house. And here we are, home sweet home. Um, I think David needs to not play in puddles. People get off at the house. He brings people home on the bus too? How's that even possible? <laughs> that is amazing. Let's let's buy him a phone so he can so he can have a party, which he wants to do. And I guess since Dustin is here, we will he can attend the party as well. He's like family; they're so close. So let's get a phone. And he can call a throw a party. Uh, not a New Year's bash. Just a quiet get together with the family. And Dustin, of course, is a family sim. Oh, this, you know what, this has to stop. Just, just, no. Go throw a party. Throw a party, a house party. Go here. Okay, that is better. Throw a house party, and I am going to put up a wall here. We're going to use Numenor's no cutaway wall. I wanted to leave that open just because it's a small box to prevent routing issues, but it really annoys, annoys me that they prefer to path that way. So, yeah. We will eliminate that annoyance. 
And who do we want to we want to invite over the family? So let's find all the family members. Um, no, not Tara. I guess we should invite over Heather as well. We will pretend that they're in a proper relationship, even though I'm not sure. <laughs> even though I'd prefer him to find somebody else. But let's invite over Peter, Charla, Tommy. Who's going to stay with the babies? Nobody. And Samantha, where is your mom at? And Samantha. And since... No, this is going to be a quiet time. Uh, Dustin, Dustin is here, but he's like family, but we're not going to invite the other, his other roommates over. That's fine. Oh, and he wants to have a great party now. Which makes sense. Oh, uh, yeah. Come say hi to everybody. Uh, a friendly hug. Let's pause this so we can get everyone. And kiss your little brother. Family kiss. Friendly hug for your dad. A kiss for your mom. Uh, who was? Is that everybody? And a kiss for your fiance. A tender kiss. Yes. Do all that. Let's see how that goes. It goes with routing issues is how this is going to go. So here's a lesson for you. Uh, if you're going to make a really tiny house, it'd be best not to have a deck. <laughs> Little Tommy wiped it off. And it's a snoozer. I don't know that he's going to have a successful party like like Ragnar had. Can he even get to her? No. He, he's hanging in there, though. Let's... I am going to help out. Well, no. It looks like they finally... They finally worked it out. But they're having a good time doing that, whatever they were doing. Aw, Peter and Charlotte just became good best friends. How sweet was that? Yeah, and just like before, dirty jokes. Everybody wants to tell him dirty jokes. That's great. He approves of that. Well, I guess it's appropriate that this is going to be a more a more quiet party than Ragnar's. We're not going to put a stereo in. He's really, you know, more of a, a low-key talk about his grandmother sort of thing. Yeah, maybe a little bit of kiki bag. That makes everybody feel better. <laughs> Where did Samantha go? Let's have, should we have him answer? Yeah, let's let him answer. Oh, look who it is. Tara called. Do you see Peter Otimus making inappropriate gestures? Uh, Heather Hoffington? Oh, I found some new places to hang out at downtown. Do you want to meet me there? Oh, well, she will understand because they're best friends. Yeah, he has to stay here. He can't go with you. I'm sorry. We should have invited her over. Mistakes were made. We're sorry. Um, entertain. Entertain Heather with a dirty joke. Everybody likes that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he wanted to do that. And he wants to have a great party. I don't know that that's going to happen for him. It's only a good time. Let's see if we, let's queue up a bunch of interactions and see if we can't have that happen for him. Okay. Um, parties are scored by the interactions that happen. 
the more positive interactions, the nicer the party. So we queued up a bunch of uh, appropriate interactions for him. Now the quickest and easiest way to get a roof raising party is to have Sims woohoo, <laughs> as you would expect. <laughs> That's a good time by all, but I don't think it's appropriate for this situation. So I am just gonna have him uh, go around go around and interact with his family and there we go it's a roof raiser uh, parties are extremely easy as easy as parties are to have a good time I find outings uh, very difficult if anyone who watched from the beginning you I think you'll remember that my outings are never as successful as our parties but this is pretty nothing much seems to be happening Let's see, everyone wants to talk and play kicky bag with with David, but David just wants to, you know, chill. But I think, oh, well, okay. It's nice to see Heather and Charlotte getting along. Tommy jumping on the bed. Yeah, I think everyone is having a good time. I don't think Oh, he, he wants to get together with, uh, with Heather. He wants to tell her a joke. He, you know, ease into it. Uh, he also wants to be friends with Veronica now. Okay, but I think everyone gets the idea of what's going on here. Just like uh, Ragnar, when the party is over, I'm going to have him... Do some of the things that he wants. Actually, he might need to take care of his needs before we check the computer because, yeah, they're getting a, uh, they're getting pretty low. But I will bring you back. I don't know. I guess maybe admit. Look at Peter's steady farting hearts for Heather Huffington. <laughs> now, if Peter, if David does roll the want to be with Heather, we're gonna have to figure out how to how to make that happen because Heather is a playable sim and he's trying to tell her an inside joke but Charlotte is like hogging his girl here let's, let's see entertain he wants to so let's tell her an inside joke and uh, give her a romantic hug he obviously wants to spend some time with her but I don't know maybe he'll ask her over when his family isn't here Oh, she wanted that as well, see? Remember that time? Oh, Yeah, I would ask you to stay, but my family's here. Let's see. Yeah. I guess that's all the interesting, uh, interesting things that are going to happen. He's, uh, <laughs> his needs are pretty, uh, dire here. So we'll let the party end. We'll let him get his little roof razor memory, which will make him very happy, I think. And Heather, look at Heather in there with the dad. Yeah, I don't know that Heather is going to join the family, <laughs> even though she might want to. Congratulations on hosting a terrific party. Your guests had a fantastic time. Final party score, roof razor. Very good. And he wants to get fit again and give a back rub to Heather. Heather needs to go. I don't know what is going on between her and Peter, but <laughs> but, but it wasn't nice. I know. Okay, as you can tell, <laughs> as you can tell, David is going to be taking care of his needs. I will bring you back when we check the computer to see if uh, a job in the soccer career came up. And here we are. It is a, it's been a long day for David and he is absolutely tired and ready to go to bed. But before he does, we are going to have him check the computer to see. Oh, journalism, oceanography, look again. Architecture, not what we're looking for. Military, and it looks like he is not gonna have any more luck than Ragnar did. And law enforcement, no. Look again, there are no more jobs available today. Look at his pajamas. He 
he picked out the slob pajamas for himself. That is hilarious. I guess it makes sense. Look at his place. He has these pajamas. He has rotting food everywhere. I had him go put away the leftovers, but I guess he just put them on the ground. Okay, after 7 o'clock, we are done playing him, but I think that was absolutely hilarious. I'll meet you back out in the neighborhood. And there we go. A good first day for Ragnar and David both, I think. And that will wrap it up for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you leave a like if you did. And I hope to see you next time where we'll be playing the Otomus House and checking in with Wally and Jan. But that is all for now. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.